Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks on Facebook this morning. Somebody was having a problem, they said, with an SVG file. And I had them send it to me. And it's really a PNG file. They call it in the name, it's an SVG, but it's a .png file. Now, this is a little bit different. And you can see that it's a flag, but you can see the the control points are way out here, and when you move the box, it's transparent, but there's a box there. And you can't, you could really probably print it like it is, but it's a, it's a little fuzzy. And when it's a little fuzzy like that, it's going to trace really good. So let's uh, get rid of our yellow box here for a minute. And let's grab on that, and let's go to bitmap. And let's just look and see at the resample. It's already 300, and we're going to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and make it black and white, and hit OK. Then go up to trace bitmap, outline trace, and 99% of the time I'm going to use clip art. It's going to ask you if, they can, if it can reduce the bitmap. And it's going to go through and trace, and I'm not going to go through, there's plenty of videos on what to set this. And then just hit OK. And there's your new trace version. And as you can see, now we have a back, a white background. So uh, I don't really completely understand that, but we don't care. It worked. And now you can see how sh sharp this is. And um, I'm a little disappointed because it's my first one I did was actually sharper. So, we'll take get rid of our yellow box, but you can't, un, and this was her question, you can't ungroup it. It says it ungroups it, but it's, it's basically all there. So, you know, what good did it do to ungroup it? Let's ungroup it all. And it's still all there. Let's see if it's leaving anything behind. Yep, it's leaving some trash behind. So, but it's all one piece, so you can't really do anything with it. Well, you can. And this is the way to do it. Go to, click on your item, left click, no fill, right click, hairline, and see, now it's still all one piece. Well, let me back up here. The only other thing to do would be to break the curve apart. But when you break the curve apart, it all becomes black. So that's not really an option. So select it all, left click, right click, and then take your item and move it over here. Let's make sure there's no trash back in here. There's not. And now you can break this apart. Break curve apart. Now you've got these individual pieces. Now if you want the color of your flag back, just grab your Smart Fill tool and fill it in. And then I would, if I was just going to engrave this, I would definitely take away left click or right click your mouse on no, no outline. So there is a way to break it apart. And um, there's actually an outline of it, so I must not have gotten it all when I selected it. Right click. Now let's click on it, and there you go. So that's an engravable version. If you wanted you no fill and, and put the hairline back, and then you and see we've, we've still got some trash there, so always kind of be careful. Um, you know, check some things. I would move it around a couple of times, and and I even though let's go, let's go back, let's get a yellow box, and even though that trans that trash is transparent and, it, and probably will not a gray, you just don't want that in your in your scenario. So just once you move an object, and the safest thing would be to move it way out of the way. 
So like that whole area, you can see I've got some trash, and then hit the delete key. And the best way to do something like that is do the whole area. And a double check would be to hit the F4 key, and it'll zoom in on stuff that's on your page only. And then, of course, like we just did, take your Smart Fill tool and fill it in, and you've got your engravable flag. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.